we can track training progress with the ITALIS Excel graphs. The condition review is for one recorded condition, evolution is for multiple recordings. Both files are used the same way. Double click to open the file and enable macros. You'll find instructions by mousing over the how to cell. First click enter data, then browse to the folder where you've directed your recordings. We want the cumulative summary text file from the design that we trained with. Double clicking graphs it automatically. If there's false data or an aborted condition, you may want to remove it to improve your graph. View the cumulative summary file that's just been opened and look for the bad data. Here we have a recording that was stopped for some reason and a new recording started, so right click and delete the entire row. Then save. Say yes and close it and no to further changes. Then rerun the data and the bad data is gone from the graph. Now imagine we've recorded a few more sessions. Click Enter Data, then open the same file, but now containing additional data. And you have several more sessions included on the graph. To zoom in on a graph, click on it and click Print Preview. To change the scale of a graph, right click on a grid line and choose Format Grid Lines, Scale tab, and enter a minimum and maximum number. Instructions for the filter function are found by mousing over the filter cell. This is a great feature for eyes open, eyes closed sessions or with multiple sites. We've trained three sites in the same order for these sessions, so we can sort for conditions one, two, or three. Click the down arrow and let's choose three, which is FPZ. Now, only FPZ sessions are going to be shown. You can write a code like FPZ in place of the number if you like. And click down arrow, choose all, shows all the data again. This file is write protected and data can always be updated without needing to save the file. But if you choose, you can preserve the graphs with the data on. Click file, save as, and give the file a new name saving the original read-only file for future data.